okay? Okay. Do, okay. The, do the jumpy thing again. I hate German wasps. <laughs> We have these lovely, we have these lovely posh ones in England that come along and say, excuse me, could I, could I possibly sting you? Could I possibly zap you? And then you say, no, so they go away. But like in Germany, they're just so nasty. We've just got to draw it. We've got to draw this view. This is like, this is Ian completely lost his workshop, right? No one's <laughs> taking any notice of him at all. So this workshop that we put together for you is completely different from any we've done before because they're quick sketches. So rather than the workshops where we're breaking it down into five steps and we're using lots and lots of different materials, this is one step. And we're just using pens, but a whole range of different pens, brush pens, fine liners. Now the idea is that we're in Rottenburg ob der Taube. And imagine you've, you've, you've come on holiday okay and you want to do a bit of sketching but you're with your partner and your partner doesn't want you to sketch for too long i'm going to show you now how to capture quick sketches so they only take like 15 minutes so you're not worried about the layers of looking you're not worried about the detail you're just capturing things really really quickly and i'm just doing them in a small a4 sketchbook and i'm not stressing about working out the composition i'm just going straight in straight in with the shapes straight in with the detail straight in with the tone okay and they're just very 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 loose and very very quick so we're going to do about five we're going to wander all around Rothenburg of the Tauber, picking up all the best iconic spots, looking for really cool buildings, really cool shapes, really cool patterns, and it's gonna be super, super fun. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm just gonna start off just capturing the fountain, just using a light gray brush pen, give it a little sense of scale. So just using a variety of different Tombow brush pens at this stage. So from that now, I can work out two dramatic buildings behind. Okay, now that's the basic outline. So let's start working in a few more structures. So many wonderful, wonderful beams here. And with a quick sketch, obviously you've got to miss a few beams out. In fact, you've got to miss more than a few beams out because it's not about capturing every single aspect of what you can see. It's just really simplifying things. When you're doing a quick sketch, you've got to, to do what I call let things, you've got to let things go. So you can see just switching all the tombos around. Okay, so now I'm going to go with a fine liner because that was all done with brush pen. So we'll do some fine line work now. buildings just disappear in the distance. As they disappear, you've still got all these wonderful towers. Just get smaller and smaller and smaller. So, nearly finished with this now. Not too much more to do. So I want to just keep it nice and fresh. Don't want to overdo it. Just do a little bit more work on this pavement here. Just want to give it a little, little sense of the stonework at the bottom so we can actually see what's going on here as well. Okay, and that is my first sketch in Bavaria, capturing the spirit, the energy of this wonderful composition of gorgeous, gorgeous buildings with a fountain in front.
Next sketch. So the first thing I need to do is capture this wonderful, wonderful building here in the market square. So I'm just going to shape it down and then we're just going to change the tone. So we started off with a warm grey and then we'll go in with a brownie grey just to differentiate the buildings. And then we'll go in with a fine liner. So a little curly bit here, really kind of exaggerating this patterning here. And this is kind of the essence of doing a very, very quick sketch. You're sort of picking up from a very early stage the things that you're interested in. So kind of unlike my, my longer sketches, you know, which take like three hours. These, these things only take 15 minutes, or hopefully 15 minutes. But the whole point really is not to worry about things like composition and structure. So I'm using the thickness of the brush now to, to really capture the dark panes of glass as quickly as I can. To put the panes in first, and then go around the frame afterwards. Now let's just get a little bit of blending going on at the bottom here, just to give it a little bit more of a context. So the stones, the stones at the bottom are important because like in any sketch, it gives it a kind of a setting, it gives it a context. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to read the space. And you have to force yourself, you do have to force yourself to stop. And you have to keep reminding that it's a quick, quick sketch because you start getting to this point now and you're really starting to see more and more. Now I'm just doing a little quick little bit of tidying up now. Because when you pause and you look back at it for a few seconds, you suddenly just see a few more things. So the next quick sketch in Rottenberg ob der Taube is kind of halfway down the main street. We've moved away from the market square and we've just found the most cutest little cafe called Braustubel. Check out my German accents. So we're just gonna sketch this really quickly, starting off with a, a black Tombow brush pen, but holding it very, very loosely, very lightly. Okay, so that'll do for that. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit more specific detail because I, I want to do this brow struble. Just love this lettering. Now I know it's a quick sketch, but I really just want to try and capture this. I probably won't be able to fit it all in. One technique I do kind of have for do, doing quick sketches is I, I often, when I'm doing windows, I'll just do the black bit first or the paint and then I'll frame it afterwards and I just find it's a lot quicker. I mean, it's probably not always the most effective, but it's just, it's just quick and often, you know, these sketches are driven by, by speed. I love hatching. I think hatching just works so well especially with quick sketches. You'd want to just darken something really quickly, but not make it, not make it too dark. It's just a wonderful, a wonderful technique for it. Okay, and that is my very quick sketch of Breistübel Café in Rottenburg ob der Tauber. Okay, so we are in the most classic part of Rottenburg ob der Tauber. And it's that kind of wonderful, kind of elevated 
spot where you have these two towers, which is great, but the fact is, it's gonna be so busy. So if we manage to get this done, I will be really, really happy, but I've kind of got a feeling we're gonna get quite disturbed. There's already a car on the other side with the engine running. And there's like people everywhere, but it is just the most wonderful, wonderful spot. So this is just the N79 Tombow brush pen. Let's just change color now. Capture this like amazing building in the middle here, which is like really famous. Everyone has their photograph taken there. And then on the other side down here, there's like a much smaller tower. And it's kind of the elevation of the two towers that just makes this scene so incredible. Capturing all these individual stones now. Obviously missing a few hours. Can't draw them all. We are literally surrounded by so many people here. Kids on bikes, people trundling past with bottles, suitcases, cars, people standing like literally two feet in front of me. Can't see a thing. So I'm just making up as I go along. That's great. It's good sometimes to do this kind of thing just to really simplify what you can see and just let go a lot of the detail and not worry really about the layers of kind of looking I mean, the layers of looking are important but I think sometimes it's nice to let it go and just really do everything in a very very quick almost instinctive way okay and that is my sketch of what I call the most classic view in Rottenberg ob der Tauber, these two kind of wonderful different elevated towers. And here is our final quick sketch in Rottenburg ob der Tauber, and this is just the most wonderful view. There we go, that is the end of my final sketch in Rottenburg ob der Tauber. So finally, these are the completed sketches that I've been doing. So we did five all together, as you know. They all took round about 15 minutes, really, really quick, just capturing the shapes. This is the first one that we did in the marketplace, and I'll just flip over. And then this is the next one that we did also in the marketplace, just focusing on this wonderful, wonderful clock tower and the relationship between the buildings. And then this is that little, little cute little cafe that we did as well. And then we popped in here and I, we had a coffee shortly afterwards, which we never told you about. But just again, 15 minutes, really quick, using all the different gray value brush pens. And then we did this one here, which is that really famous view that you see with these wonderful elevated towers and it really drops down and this was just magical it was just such a great place it was very very busy full of energy people taking photographs so just capturing it really quickly and it's just a record it's a record of your experience and let me show you finally the last one that we did and if you just come this way we can actually show you the scene just cross the road get one over very very quickly okay and then if you just look behind, this is the tower that we actually drew. So you can see from this perspective, you see it's very, very simple, very loose, getting in all these contour lines, very dramatic perspective going on, sense of depth coming through here, matching a little bit of tonal value, but just doing it very, very quickly. 
and just enjoying the experience. And guys, seriously, it's so much better than taking a photograph. That's what it's all about. So thanks for joining me. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. So good. But I'm just, I'm loving your, your country. I'm loving Bavaria. I'm loving all the art and the creativity, but the wasps, they're not doing it for me, guys. I'm sorry. Get rid of them. I'll come back again.